<laughs> what is up guys welcome to fat belly fishing so today i'm joined by mr samuel snookerson i added some of my art up here because i felt like this corner was really boring when i have to talk to you guys and stuff like that so i wanted to jazz it up a little and who better to invite than samuel i wouldn't really ask samuel how we met if you're catching my drift here all right guys, welcome. I'm gonna be showing you guys what lures I use to catch my inshore slam on. So inshore slams vary on what region of Florida you live in. So the central region, which is like Crystal River down all the way to Sarasota area, which I fish most often around Tampa Bay, is snook, redfish, and trout. That's the one I'm gonna be doing today. But if you're up in like the Panhandle or uh, Pensacola area, it's trout, redfish, flounder, and down in the Keys, I think it's permit, tarpon, and maybe bonefish. That one seems like it'd be a fun one. But today I'm gonna be showing you all the fish I caught with Captain August Cook, who you guys see me fishing with a lot from Shoalwaters Adventures. Um, we're gonna show you all the things we did to catch these fish and what lures it's gonna be a fun time. And I'm gonna go step by step showing you in order with the video of us catching them, how it worked out for us. As Captain August Cook and I, a week ago, went out and had one of the best days I've had. I caught two 32 inch redfish, one on top water, one on the voodoo shrimp, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Uh, feel autofocus, there you go. And then we caught some snook, I caught a slot snook, which was 28 inches but I let it go and there's particular reasons behind that I'll get into. And also the hardest part of my day, which should not have been, was catching a trout, which is a very good problem if you're catching big, red, big redfish and snook. To catch a trout to be your hard part of the day is a good day of fishing to say the least. I got him. Oh wow, Jim. Dude, that eat was epic. So we started our morning by push pulling across the flats like we love to do and we did sight fishing. So sight fishing is when you're up in like a platform on the tower, you're looking down trying to find these redfish or snook, trout. Trout are real finicky so we don't usually sight fish trout. So the first lure we used were these voodoo shrimp that I was trying to show you guys. There it is right there. They're pretty cool. They got the weighted up front. So when it's going, it's bouncing like this off the bottom with the tail in the air, getting good action. We're using that for the sight casting for redfish. You guys saw the other video. I hope if you haven't, go check it out. It's pretty epic. That's where I caught, I think. We caught four big, big redfish. It was pretty cool. When we're fishing, we always try to keep an imitation of a shrimp on board, whether it's the voodoo shrimp like I have here or like a DOA shrimp, just any imitation of a shrimp will get you more bites. So you gotta think logically here, crustaceans are one of fish's main uh, food sources, so shrimp hiding in oysters, swimming along the grass flats, redfish, trout, snook, absolutely love. You can catch almost any fish on an imitation shrimp, no matter what brand, what product it is. As the day goes on, you guys can see we got into some good redfish just using an imitation of a shrimp, basically. So the next thing we did, we are like, we got the redfish, we gotta go for snook. We're going for the inshore slam. That was on our mind. So one of the best products out there are Slayer Inks swim baits. I'm gonna show you guys them real quick. I, I also have videos, the last three videos I did, all the fish that we caught for the inshore slam are in them. So if you wanna see the individual baits and us going over them more in depth, go watch those videos. But with Slayer Ink, it's just a paddle tail. Ooh, I don't wanna focus. With Slayer Ink, it's just a paddle tail like this, but you see how big that paddle tail is on it? When it swims through the water, it's over-exaggerating and wobbling like that. Now this one wobbles more than any other paddle tail I've ever come across. And I actually got to talk to the owner and creator of Slayer Inc. last week off of the YouTube video yeah. I made. And he is a great guy. They are 100% oh, yeah, made baby. in the USA, which I thought was really cool. But if you just threw that on a weighted jig head or a weedless weighted um, hook, and threw it 
like in the other video we had and reeled it back to you. Snook absolutely love to destroy these. Not even just Snook, but Trout love them too. Uh, Redfish will hit them as well, but we knew for a fact if we use these Slayer lures, we were going to target the Snook we wanted to target. A lot of my videos, I mean a lot of my videos, as you guys have seen, the jerk shads like this. It's just like a pencil long imitation, I guess, bait. And they literally just fly through the water sporadically. These things catch anything. This is one by DOA. We like using the ones by Z-Man as well. Either one works, but if you're trying to target trout, I really like going with these. These are my go-to trout lure. So we have the shrimp for really red fish, Slayer ink for snook, and then like a jerk shad for trout. And all together, if you use these three things, I guarantee you catch a fish. Those are three of the main things I'll, you'll find in my tackle box. It was an epic day of fishing, to say the least. Captain August Cook of Shoalwater Adventures, one of my best buddies. I love fishing with this man. It is just an absolute blast every time we go out there. And I get the privilege to catch inshore slams all the time fishing with him, to be honest with you. It's not trying to be cocky at all, it's just he knows what he's doing. I know what I'm kind of doing sometimes, but together it's just, it's bound to happen, which is awesome. I have some big things planned. I have decals coming, which they're on the way. I've got a set of them in, but I've, I've had them basically all given out already, so it's pretty cool seeing all these people really wanting to be a part of the Fat Belly Fishing uh, team, the crew, whatever you want to call us. So. so if you guys haven't already, go like and subscribe to this video. Follow more tips and tricks by me. Follow our goofiness, whatever we're doing. You know, we never know what we're doing. But I really appreciate all you guys and we're getting more and more subscribers every day and it's just awesome seeing this grow and the support from the communities grow. But again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a couple days, I'm sure.